Christmas. As you can see, we're also in the Christmas spirit. It's number 23, which is also interesting because it will be released on 23rd of December. Yeah. That works out, so... Merry Christmasy. Hey! Christmas! With Christmas, I guess that's kind of Christmas, but... Christmas enough. How are you guys getting into that Christmas mood? Christmas, Christmas? Christmas, 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 Christmas. Christmas, Christmas. 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 Yeah. Uh, I, you're like, like always, I use my yeah. the long elf hat. Uh, basically, most of my friends do hate it. <laughs> for some cool. reason. <laughs> yeah, it makes you look like Jabba. Yeah, yeah, I'm a very Jabba the Hutt. Yeah. <laughs> and it's basically a scarf. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 it works. That's yeah, cool. uh, well, I'm, I, I, I'm a Grinch here. I'm, I'm, I, I don't see any Not reason for, for, for Christmas. Uh, just for games that I will get this. This. Like Steam sales. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Steam sales yeah. are coming. Does anyone know when they begin? Uh, I think today. You'll know. The <sighs> you know? Nice. You'll know when Steam sales begin. Oh, yeah, because your, your wallet, wallet, you open it up, it's a <laughs> yeah. It sticks to your PC and starts <laughs> draining money. <laughs> no, Gabe, no. Stop. <laughs> and so, you? And me? You've been getting into um, the. Christmassy. Well, my wallet been getting into Christmassy. Oh, that's I not a problem. Uh, here. Money. Money. Hundred John dollars. Uh, yeah. So because I started looking for gifts and all, so that's going on. That Christmas shop. I've been, I'm, I'm, I'm losing money. I'm bleeding money. <laughs> that's like Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's a Christmas. good old-fashioned Christmas. Yeah. And you, Bert? Well, kind of. You know, to me, Christmas is about that big ass feast. Oh, okay. You're That's salad. Christmas yeah. for me. Yeah. And salad. Yeah. That yeah. salad. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> salad, feast, everything that's good with it. And uh, we were at the the WinterCon, me and Eclair. Yep, we went there. 2015, it was this weekend. Yeah. 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 Lil, I healed the first time. I guess we can start off with that. Sure. Uh, Tell me. Honestly, Tell me what did you like that? Honestly, first of all, I want to start off with the fact that this WinterCon really reminded what, reminded me why I fell in love with the festivals in the first place. The atmosphere was great, the people were fun, the, 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 the costumes were, were also superb. Um, the shops place, were fun. Also, yeah, a lot yeah. Of cool shops. Also shop. Oh, shops. I thought you said shots. Because shots were fire. No, no shots. Shots? You, you did drink there. What? Oh my god. <laughs> No, well, I did not drink that. I think it's not allowed. <laughs> Depends on your definition because there was some Red Bull available and uh, for this tap. Yeah. yeah, for free and I didn't get I didn't any. get any, but you know, shots were fired anyway. We both didn't get any. <laughs> yeah. We got some coffee. Yeah, it was, good. it was really yeah. good. Winter Winter Con theme coffee. I actually coffee. That was for, good. for most of the event I couldn't get a numb. I mean, eat anything. Oh yeah. So I was just constantly getting high on coffee. <laughs> yep, that's kind of the thing in there. Yeah, that's how that's, that's how, that's how my winter comes in. But uh, still, the, the, the whole event was really fun. I can I already <laughs> said this to one of the organizers that this this year, uh, which is also a subjective opinion, of course, but I think this year they had the best host they have ever had. I mean, I okay. In, in Unicorn's defense, I've never been, I've, I haven't been to the Unicorn 2013 uh, festival, so I don't know what kind of host was there. I they didn't change. They didn't change, no. okay, so probably the same story. Yes. But the, this time it was, uh, what, what, was he from Animatsuri or Nya? I think he was I from, think from Nya. Yeah. Because he made a reference to yeah. Nya. The, the organizer of Nya, who also, the, who also do their own podcast actually, uh, they, no, this guy was the host of the event. He was great. He, he, his pronunciation was, was great. The, the, the interaction with the audience he made was really fun. He cracked some jokes here and there. Some of them were good, some of them were okay. Uh, but yeah, but overall, he, he also always managed to handle the situation really nicely because there were some mishaps that happened with the props, with everything, they with the cosplay performance. The guy has experience and he's using it. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And he did really nicely, so yeah. so I was really happy for that. Any, any performances that, that did catch your attention or something? Yeah. yeah. And I was uh, I was at the first batch of the cosplay, I, sadly thing, I think yeah. you didn't see any. Funny thing, uh, he saw bit. most of the performances while I was just running all over the place and not <laughs> seeing them. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I had my shift shortly before the first batch of cosplays. Oh, shift for ticket because I was staffed. Uh, and Me too. basically, 
the first whole batch was 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 really cool. I saw all of them except the very last one, which really caught my eye was the Jedi ones. I also posted them on our Instagram. Yeah, I did, I did, I did comment. It seems that these were the same guys that were performing on the Kinoblog uh, showing of the Star Wars uh, The Force Awakens. We will talk about it a bit later, yeah. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think these were the, the same thing. guys because the, the, the scene of Obi-Wan versus... Versus Anakin Skywalker, Anakin, yeah, 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 before yeah. he was Darth Vader. Yeah, on um, the... Original trilogy. Well, not original, the first the prequel. The pre Prequels, yes. You kind of mess with my mind because original kind of would mean to me <laughs> one, two, three, yeah, but it's yeah, not. Yeah. It's four, five, six. It's <laughs> just this for everyone. Anyway, I don't know if they're the same because I wasn't at the preview of Kino Bloggery. I'm guessing maybe from what you're saying, they might be the yeah, same. Yeah. They were playing out the whole scenes. They were even. What I loved about them is, first of all, they were really good. They were really like acrobatic. They could, they really did the fight. They really yes. <laughs> You could feel the fight in them, like the, 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 the burning energy to just, just go at each other. And they left in the whole performance, that funny moment everyone always laughs about in the ori original third episode of Star Wars, where Obi-Wan and Anakin fight each other and they're just standing next to each other and just doing this. <laughs> <laughs> they left that in the performance, it was, it was perfect. So basically it looked good it, and it was funny. Same reason why I really love the Skyrim guards. Yeah, I was about to mention that. Yeah, those guys. Yeah. So they were in, in great outfits. They really looked like the Skyrim NPCs, the guards. Yeah, and what? Well, they're and guys, actually yeah, their yeah. their cosplays were really good. Really good. Uh, yeah, I, I was like immersed in. You could feel the Skyrim, Skyrim just everywhere, Skyrim just wherever happened. they went, you know? <laughs> and their performance was funny because, first of all, they really pretended to be NPCs. They're just sitting at a table, just enjoying a meal, grabbing some ales. Through the helmets. Yeah, yeah, through, through the, the helmets, helmets. Just drinking it up, eating some cakes. <laughs> and suddenly in the background, there's a loud growl. They're like, what was that? They stand up, ready for action. They just walk they around. Hit. And then there's a huge ass growl that sounds really like a huge dragon in the background. They're like, let's walk over there. So they slowly <laughs> too. <laughs> and that's that was the whole just, performance. Just like this. <laughs> 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 and there's a lot of reference over here without two comments. Yeah. Great. Oh yeah, by the way, we'll be having two top topics today. Uh, yeah. So we can um, get more into them. Also, anything speaking, else? Uh, speaking of cosplays. I really love the group who did uh, How to Tame a Dragon. How to Train Your Dragon, too. How to Train yeah. Dragon. It was awesome. Was it? Pandemonium. Pandemonium, Pandemonium, yes. Pandemonium, yeah, yeah. They were really great. They were great. They're great. They're great. They're they, did, they did the whole cast. The, the father was amazing. Oh, like, I can you, show you. He was man. really, really cool. Give me a sec. And then they do. Okay. They also did the Toothless, Small Dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The that's thing, the one I want to show and you. And the thing about the Toothless is. And the cosplay was a bit bulky and not really comfortable okay. to move in. Yeah. yeah, that's a whole person in there. Yeah. Of, uh, so her, her costume was a bit bulky, not really comfortable to move in, and she had really problems seeing where she's going. Yeah. So it was like she really was some kind of dragon because the, the, the dudes they were telling her like, stop, sit, don't go there, stay. <laughs> she needed some more. She moved like. Oh, right, right. I, I totally fell in love with that costume. Yeah. That's great. But they, they did like duos, the, the twins, they did duos on their own. They also had like uh, the full group with the Viking and the... I think Pandemonium was the bonus content. They were like, they they weren't in the contest, they were bonus they appeared. after the contest is yeah. ended. Right before the closing ceremony, they did a bonus uh, like performance. I, I guess so, that's that was about the time when they appeared and they also started walking around. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Also, I made selfies with all of the Topo guys. Oh, oh yeah, he yeah. made a mission to just <laughs> catch everyone. Yeah. To You're a Topo fan? Yep. Really? Topo fan. I just, saw, I just saw one Topo guy, I'm like, hey, You're like, Mokai, nice, let's take a selfie. I'm like, are there more of you? There's totally, there's total five of us. I'm like, I have to find all of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I did. And the place itself, Villa Gilda, was a huge upgrade from the previous one because the previous one was in the World Training Center in Riga. It was cramped, you could definitely feel that, and this one was really spaced out. It was it would, had its own finally separate like a dancing area, so the music didn't really we push danced, through everywhere. We danced else. when there was nobody around. Oh yeah, we had the best dance moves. Yeah, uh, because Tadu we were the only ones like totally supporting us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, 
basically kind of the same, you know, but like improved. Everything improved, so it was the I same. I like the building itself. The level, it's like it's like it's like console area. Yeah, the building itself was cool. Uh, yeah, so they had that look. The console area contest as usual. Really, the the standard standard uh, program they had, but in general, it was it was really good. Yeah, also I want to mention a weird thing I noticed about the uh, stage area. Yeah, room, building, whatever, hall. Um, you couldn't make it into the hall because there were people standing at the entrance watching, and I think like. Uh, is it that there are that many people watching, like it's so cramped, people are just standing right at the entrance and not going in. Yeah. And I try to see what's in there, and there's a lot of empty spaces. People are just standing mostly at the entrance for some reason. Oh yeah, I remember this was also an issue in Game 2015. We, uh, we people don't this. enter the hall itself; they just stand at the entrance. Yeah, yeah, yeah because watch. but uh, people weren't were there uh, some enforcers that were limiting people because during Unicon, some of the staff were just holding off people, so you can't during the performance go through the the uh, the. the uh, I understand there wasn't any now. There were yeah. just people. Usually, this was no this one told me to do it's that. It's the crowd mentality. Uh, some people start start standing, and the new people who come in, they're just like they're not even looking for new seats. They're like, see people standing, is like, oh, every every seat is taken. <laughs> well, so, at least nothing changes from that side. Yeah. <laughs> well, true. all the festivals that <laughs> when I you mentioned like yeah. standing like NPCs, I'd like to add that they're standing like NPCs with pathing problems. <laughs> yeah, there's flip, right? No, I, I, no. where to go? Where to go? Oh, the we took a blocked. funny Instagram picture that we didn't post yet, but uh, a lot of people on the balcony, they were <laughs> they were sitting on their knees and from the back it looked like they were praying. <laughs> They're just looking from the balcony and it's like your daily prey yeah, keeps the, I don't know, unicorn away. Uh, she's church the unicorn, yeah. 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 <laughs> and there's gangster meals to sit. Yeah, yeah. So what what, what caught your there? eye? Because for example, I, I saw the cosplay of Overwatch, the Tracer. I also posted her on Instagram. Yeah, I think, I think she it was the judge. judge. She, no, that's the thing. The I only later found out that there was two Tracers. One of them who walked around, who I took the picture with. Uh, sadly, I don't know your name. If you're watching this, please tag <laughs> yourself in the in the picture. We would so, love to know so who you are. So he noticed that there were two Tracers, but he thought it was one Listen, because no, she was no, no. moving around fast. Because the judge wasn't in her costume until I think the end of the first performances. She only oh, then went okay. into her costume. Yeah. Until then, she was Wait, just like. Uh, is it that also one, the judge was from France? Was yeah, this, yeah. Was yeah, the second cool. one had like the generator glowing? Both of them had. Just the judge had it better. Sadly, I also don't oh, know the name. Okay. So please, if you can, okay. just yourself. Also, you had some problems with portals. But, yeah. Well, now we're thinking portals. Thinking yeah. Money with the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Our own Kitty X was like Glados from yep. Portal, and that was fun. <laughs> Looked good. There were portals. Let's, let's she probably has some footage from the Go portal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah the sure. Not many know. Sure. Not so, many know. It was uh, mentioned only after the event itself that uh, Glados had a GoPro cam in her hat helmet thing, yeah, yeah. and there's a video of her performing, so you can see the other point of view. Of what performance? Did you know who won? I and he wasn't was, there. <laughs> right, you were at the stand. You uh, <laughs> uh, I was I doing think... some stuff like getting high on coffee and I I know, searching so, for food. As I know, solo <laughs> cosplay was uh, uh, won by Squirrel Cosplay and she's in Lithuania. And she had which costume? I that's okay, all right. Right. You, you weren't I, there. Of course weren't you there and I know that much. Guys, <laughs> really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Step yeah. up your game, huh? See, the thing is, we were at the uh, backstage as staff when the <laughs> awarding ceremony happened and we couldn't see or hear anything. Because <laughs> really. backstage the audio was not that good, but in front of the stage, I already said this also to one of the organizers, the audio was great. This year they really nailed uh, so that the host could be heard really well. There was no problems with it. As I heard some people complain that near the... Near the uh, Speakers, the ba uh, bass was way, way too high, so all you could hear was. That's not a. How is that possible? Bass can never be too high. <laughs> <laughs> There's never enough bass. Too loud, I guess, is the word I was looking for. Too loud, yeah, not too high. <laughs> so that's kind of the thing with it. Overall, 9 out of 10. I had fun. 
It was fun. It really was. <laughs> uh, as I said uh, at the beginning, it's just it really reminded me why I love these. Uh, these love these events. It's just great people getting together, getting all nerdy and geeky, and it's it's a great, great, great feeling to be part of that. Community. It's also a great feeling to finally meet some people who you haven't seen in a while. That's true. That's who like man. abroad and they come back for the event. They're like, hey guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Actually, before recording, as we started to talk, talking about cosplays and the Jedi's and the Star Wars, where we head off next to, uh, one of the cosplayers was not just Obi Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker, as they were in the third episode of the movies. It was also from the games, as I asked a lot who, what his name was, uh, the Sith who has like a skull mask and red red markings across. Yeah, and I, and I screwed up with him saying that it's a uh, Reaper from Overwatch. <laughs> You're high. I, I didn't believe him, because <laughs> I knew he was high. So, as I know, it was uh, from Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. He's, usually, he's, he's on the cover of the game. He was really cool. Sponsored by Reach Beach. $100 by John. Go buy them. That goes into the shadow. <laughs> yeah, so final sure. verdict on Unicorn WinterCon 2015. Fun, good, we'll go again. 9 out of 10. 100 dollars. It was fun. As I said before, it's it really is, it was a big upgrade from the previous WinterCon. It improved on every aspect with the host, with the audio quality, with I think the performances were cooler too. Well, and there was plenty. I didn't see the second batch sadly because yeah. I was busy helping out. But uh, <laughs> I saw the first one, not the very last one of the first ones, but what and, I saw was fun. And there was plenty of space to hang out. And it had Mojo Jojo as a cosplay. That's amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> and toothless and stuff. And toothless, yeah. There's a lot of great stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Good. Talking about amazing stuff. Amazing, okay. epic Star Wars stuff. Let's talk about some Star Wars. I was, I was yesterday to the movie. I saw Star Wars The Force Awakened. I got hyped before the movie. Got hyped after the movie too. Haha, <laughs> 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 got you. Um, and and I, I haven't went to the movies. I haven't seen the Poopy Star Pets. Wars. No. I will pretend. I wonder if it would be interesting for him to to start Star Wars with Episode Seven and then go back to the previous ones. What if he does like this? Uh, uh, so just just just, just to share my thoughts on the new movie Episode Seven. Mm -hmm. uh, you can watch it and then you will watch New Hope and you will see so many parallels between yeah. these two movies. I'm basically so rewatching the same movie. Yeah, so that's why I think it doesn't matter how you will start watching this. this I'm not adventure. spoiled by the story yet, basically. So all the Should we give stuff. a big spoiler? No, I'm not talking about. No, stuff. I mean like a spoiler warning. We're not. We shouldn't talk. Let's about not, spoilers. right? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. we, we won't spoil we'll anything. Share our our Too thoughts, bad. general thoughts, and well, I already did spoil. <laughs> I think Mr. Robot to him. Sometimes that was a long time ago, yeah. It's yeah, so, so happened, I don't want to repeat that's... myself. <laughs> <laughs> Here, keep the change. Uh, okay, I, I, I'm rich, rich, rich now. Yeah. yeah, it was still mildly spoiled, though. Like for you? No, oh, I mean the, like, listen, I mean like yeah, the, yeah. the the spoiler itself was like, uh, can I? No, no, nah, no, 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 no. Okay, I can do. I can do this like this. Hey, do you think? You that? know, you know. If we said we will not spoil <laughs> Star Wars, it doesn't mean that we should spoil yes, Mr. No, Robot, dude. Uh, really? No, I won't spoil Mr. <laughs> Robot for anyone. I'll just say that. Uh, they were talking about Mr. Robot, like, hey, you know, one of the guys compared Mr. Robot to that thing. What do you think about it? And I'm just sitting there. I know that I thing. Fuck. Hey, guys. <laughs> I, I get it now. Sorry. Well, let's let's let's. <laughs> it all makes sense. Uh, yeah. Back to Star Wars. Uh, I went to the special special preview of Kid Blogger. Ooh. That was what great. Did, that, what did they What did they do for this preview? Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. So, so first of all, we as, as I did already mention. <laughs> It's because Slave because Leia. I haven't seen it. I will just <laughs> pretend that I'm hyped Your and Leia. I know. And I'm uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, the the, the duel between uh, Obi Wan Kenobi and, and Anakin Skywalker was there. Mm -hmm. I think. Did they use the Force? Yeah. So Both well, they, they just 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 yeah. the scene from from the the, the duel in the uh, uh, Revenge of the Sith. Mm -hmm. uh, then the most impressive thing that they arranged a band, a music band of girls, 
playing violin, uh, banjo, ukulele, guitar, uh, does, flutes. Was that in the movie? <laughs> yeah. Wait, is this K on or something? Are we talking about they were, Star Wars or Kayon? What is this? Just uh, let it finish. <laughs> They were in cosplays of of the char- from random characters from the from the franchise, yeah. and they were playing most of the tunes, basically all the the famous ones, starting with 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 the Cantin, yeah, yeah, March, Cantin songs, main themes, etc. So it was uh, a potpourri of uh, but nothing of from the new one, right? Well, like race theme or anything like that. Uh, no, 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 no. Well, it's not, it's not probably. Uh, yeah. So from all these six, six episodes that, that were launched, all the music, famous one was was was, was uh, played there, and yeah. it was very cool. Yeah. So so they, they did a great job because all the instruments there were so 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 different, yet they were close to the original. So so the flute, that the violin, sound yeah. good. Yeah. So yeah, they, 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 made made a good, they did a good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was and the 19th or 18th? When was the preview? 18th. 18th. Yeah, yeah. So and first, well, just, uh, just, just random gift givings, etc. So, like always, they do that. Swag Probably bags. posters and yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it wasn't do? that that much of gifts, so so not any special stuff. That's stop. wobbly. Stop. Stop. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it was fun, and the most impressive thing that the Hall itself was fully booked. So oh, it was 3D or the it was 3D. Uh, I it in 3D and well. it was just just I didn't see a full a full uh, cinema cinema hall. hall for a long time. Years. Yeah. So so that's that was impressive for really? me to see everyone there. Yeah. It was full and it was the the second hall I think. Yeah. So. It, it's pretty big with the balcony, etc. Yeah. Everything was that was it was sold out in like the first hour. You know what? Yeah. I'm curious yeah. about how many of those. Well, the the, the hall was packed with like people. Yeah. Uh, I have this thing uh, thoughts about the internet mentality going on. Were there that many fans actually? Were there just people who are like, oh, this is popular? Uh, you mean go. like riding the hype train? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a lot. Sure. I think a lot. Were there people in cosplay? Yeah, yeah. Hey. 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 Uh, not that much. Um, yeah, mostly the, the, the girl that were, were playing the, the music. Yeah. yeah, but there were some cosplayers. It was pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's good. Yeah. Uh, How did you like in the movie the zero mention of Billy Chlorians? Well, <laughs> they, they, they weren't mentioned in general in most of the movies. In the original trilogy, there they're, 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 exactly. wasn't mentioned. And as I know by the new canon, uh, midichlorians are in the blood, not around you, like it was uh, hacked up uh, in the prequel trilogy. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. In the prequel, they did talk about that the, the midichlorians it's, it's was around in the you, but it's around you. What no, is no, no, they talked about in the blood. Midichlorians is basically. See, uh, in Star Wars, the Force, yeah. in the original trilogy, 4, 5, and 6, yeah. was this mystical power that surrounds like every living being, everything. Okay. It, how fans got pissed off at George Lucas is that in the first, second, and third episode, already with the first episode, when they made, he made the prequels, he basically spat on this mystical idea and... For, I, uh, and like, I get call it, it I get shamanistic it, so. force, you know, that, mm-hmm. that, that people can harness just by just by believing in it, just by learning mm-hmm. to control it. He made it into a biological thing. You're yeah, born with midi- midichlorians with this. Line. Yeah, like if you're born in your bloodstream with this, these midichlorians, you you basically have the force, and you you're you basically you're a have potential no Jedi. You have no choice but to become a Jedi. Now you always have a choice. That's why. <laughs> Well, no, it's I want to say blood. what I don't want to say. It's in your blood, they will yes, find the you and they will turn you into a Jedi. Yeah. Well, okay, it's, it's not about <laughs> the, the specifics or, or just, just pedantic approach. Uh, I wanted to, to me, say, that was important. Uh, I wanted to say that J.J. Abrams did a good job. Yes. He, he, he managed to create... Uh, and I say, I, I'm 
very, I'm not pretty, I'm very critical to this movie. I don't like it. Sorry. You didn't like the movie? Yeah, I didn't like it. Because it was as bad as the originals. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Is that, that a good the, thing? The story arc? The story, the, 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 the world, the, the setting, world. the silliness, etc. So, uh, it was as good and as bad the original as the original Star Wars. Yeah, as long as the, it's compared to the original and not the prequel in terms of goodness or badness, but I think that's You know good. my thoughts on that. Mm -hmm. uh, all this marketing hype of Disney, etc., uh, created this, this, this weird feeling that the original trilogy was some kind of magnum opus. It wasn't. It was crappy movies, sorry. With <laughs> well, bad time, characters, was... bad acting, bad, very bad acting. This is what me and my girlfriend were talking about a lot, <laughs> but, but you do have to look at the movies from that time and that point of view. They don't hold up today because of the, yes, the acting is very 70s and 80s, and it's very... New ones yeah. have the same bad acting, by the way. Yes. Really? No, I didn't feel that. I thought the new ones actually had good actors and finally some good, good reactions, actions. And, I'll, I'll and show you like, a, a couple of, <laughs> of scenes from the prequel trilogy and you'll change your thoughts. But okay, really? continue. No, I, it's just with those, I really did feel, think like uh, that the actors were good and, and improved. Did love make you blind? Oh. <laughs> No, no, dude, you're talking. That was a scene? <laughs> yes, it was. Uh, yeah, but uh, the, the, uh, the new episode felt like original Star Wars. It's it did. Yeah. yeah, and uh, all in uh, what I got from it that Star Wars is not a Jedi franchise. It's not about Jedi. What's always about what is it about force? them? It's not about the force. Uh, what force is, it is, about? is used minimally in most of the of the of the um, movies. Uh, Actually, yeah, that's yeah. kind of true. What they, is it about? Uh, it was what's the essence? Though? Only a couple of fights in every movie. It's not just the the prequels where g they swing their their uh, uh, lightsabers left and right. That's because in the prequels, so the Jedi were actually about? a lot of them. What it is about? It is about standoff between two forces and it's not about the force this is a jedi it's about republic and the empire in the, the, the new movie it's the first order yeah and it is it is a rebel movie it's not a jedi movie and i think it's fine i don't mind that it's not a mystical cosmic cosmic magic uh, movie yeah, the first one I feel they really balance it out, like 50%. 50% of the movie is this what you're talking about, the, the Rebels versus the uh, the First Order. Yeah. And the other half is the Jedis. The Force, the Jedis, the struggle between the good and the evil. Seems like they kind of even it out, possibly, just like they do with the Force. Hey, this is the Force, it's gonna be in balance. But so what's your story? Is... Why have you never watched Star Wars? I was a kid. I don't know. Do we have problems? Check. Gotta check. I was really back after these was watching wait, movies wait, about wait, wait. dolphins. I don't know how we ended up on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I really have no clue. <laughs> uh, as of today, there's an open position for the third person on, on Geek Camp Podcast. <laughs> Being a dick. So really, what is your story? How did you never like really get into uh, any well, of that? Well, I watched it when I was a kid, but I was a kid. Which one? Which kid I was? <laughs> Which I was the only kid in my family. My family. <laughs> oh, uh, it's just uh, I watched them, but I wasn't smart enough to understand them. Just uh, oh, but which movies did you see? Uh, I saw the the, the one where the where. Walking through the desert, and these are not the droids you're looking for. So the original Force Fourth, the original Fourth. No, uh, no, I mean Hope was added later on. It was originally called just Star Wars. After that, with the special editions, they added the name A New Hope. So bad. Okay, yeah. so I seen that one. Okay, so the first movie. Yeah, Good job. yeah, I seen it. Uh, really didn't ca catch you like as a kid, like oh my god, what is this? Mm -hmm. Well. <laughs> 
wasn't that's, that. The thing there is, was none of that, dude. Actually, Healy. yeah. There Did was, you remember that? I do. There wasn't. The, there wasn't any lightsabers <laughs> when he was training. There was training. a lightsaber, but it wasn't active. Yeah, yeah. Me and my girlfriend actually just... rewatched the whole, like chrono chronologically, the, all of the movies. They went yes, into I was the like, desert. They found Luke. They went to the ship, they got the princess, and they got back. That's it, that's... And Vader. Well, <laughs> Vader, Vader is lovable. You that's good in here. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Oh so, yeah, he liked to choke. Choke a bitch. That was Vader's thing. Yeah. Uh, also, okay, so you f f watched the first I movie? Saw, I else? saw the one with the racist. <laughs> this is pod racing. Yeah, pod racing. And this is pod racing! And I sort of remember seeing Attack of the Clones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, which was the episode of Clones? Second one. Episode 2? Yep. So, yeah. So you kind of saw it really broken off. Yep. You yep. saw number 4, the number 1, and number 2. Also, I saw some cartoons. Wait, no. Also, I saw one. some 3D cartoons on Cartoon Network, and 3D. that was weird. Okay. There's Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, Clone Wars. Yeah. Clone Wars, the, the 3D. Yeah. Uh, it is weird. the the worst version. Because it is... Uh, I sort of figured it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there is a sh Could some, feel some it. shorter version, the Star Wars Clone Wars animated series, that is drawn, not 3D model. Mm -hmm. And this is the best that Lucas ever gave. Mm. I am a fan, not of the Jedi, but of the clones and their, 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 oh, just what they do and how they act, etc. And they were heroes. They're not just copy pasted Mandalorians. Yet they are heroes. And this is the most important thing because uh, one of my most, most favorite. <laughs> shit uh, my, my most uh, beloved game in Star Wars. Uh, universe is Republic Commando, mm. where you Don't play as SWAT elite squad of clones, and you uh, you play as the leader, the commander, but you can use your your friends as cover me there, lob a grenade over there, etc. So you play more tactically, and mm -hmm. this is awesome. And the 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 story there is super. It's not just that. Pseudo philosophical Jedi bullshit. I like that pseudo strategy. Jedi bullshit. I find the mystic part of it. I loved it. The, the, but there are a lot of comments. Added midichlorians. So you're the mystic man. Yeah.